Hi guys, Krishi this side. So today we'll talk about how we can switch variants from a drop down like this to a toggle switch like this. So you, as you can see, this is fairly an easy way to switch variants. And let's jump into the tutorial and let's talk about how we can make it. Let's first understand the concept how we can add and switch to a component. I'll just draw out a frame or let's make a fairly simple switch. Choose the frame tool, draw out a frame. Let's rename it to toggle. I'll draw a rectangle in between here. Okay, let's convert this toggle into a component. Now let's add a variant. Let's say this is the off state of the toggle. And this is the on state. Let's add a background color. Change this color. Okay. Now let's drag out an instance from the parent component by pressing Option or Alt and dragging an instance out. Now, if you see the properties panel, here we have drop down the switch between the two variants, right? Now, how to convert this into a toggle switch? I'll just click the main component here. Let's rename this to, let's say, active. And let's change the values from default and variant to, to true and false. So let's say by default, it should not be active. That means it should be false. And variant two should be true if this button is active. So now if you click on the variants and see the values of those variants, so active property is false for variant one and active property is true for variant two. Keep in mind that it's a case sensitive value. So keep the T and F capital in both the cases. Now let's see how this has changed our instance. Great. As you can see, our property is having a switcher now. So this means by default, we are saying active is false. That means by default, it will be the first variant. And if I turn this on, this will change to the second variant. So this is how basically you can add a switcher in your components from a drop down to a toggle like this. Now let's do this with an, another example, a little bit more complex than this. Let's draw a frame. I'll just click on the screen and it will put a frame out there. Let's say the width 150 and height should be 30 pixel. Let's rename this by pressing Command or Control R. Let's call it button. Add a background color. Let's add a label here by using text tool. Small size or small button. Let's add color. Change the constraints from top left to center center. And let's just put this in the center of the frame. Now let's convert this button to a component by pressing this button. Now this is our component and let's say small button is the smallest variant of our button. Now let's add one more variant here. Let's call it 
medium button now for the easy alignment and auto spacing let's add an auto layout on top of the parent frame press the button component hit auto layout 2020 nice so for the medium button let's say the height should be 40 pixel and let's add one more variant you can either press ctrl d or command d or you can click this small plus icon here this will add a variant let's call this a large button now let's in the same way let's drag an instance out of this parent component option or alt drag as you can see here we have a drop down now click on the parent component and let's start adding a couple of properties let's say first property let's rename it to property one from property one to small one more property medium and the last one large now let's see what we are seeing in our variance panel if i click this variant let's say that small property should be true for variant one and medium and large property should be false similarly for medium small should be false and large should be false and medium should be true for the variant two and for the large button let's say large is true small and medium is false cool everything is updated here now let's see how this will change the layout in the instance cool here you can see that we have respective switcher for each and every variant i forgot to change the height for the large button let's add a little bit more height to this fella cool now you can see the difference so this is it for this tutorial guys hit like if you think this was useful subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and comment if you have any doubts or if you have any ideas to try out i'll see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching